guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be filming something a little bit different i've never filmed a story time on my channel before the title might throw you guys off a little bit but this is 100 percent true this happened to me in the fall of 2015 so it's been quite a while i don't I don't want to say that I don't believe in this kind of stuff. I just, I don't believe in actively seeking it out. Um, it's just not something that I really like and it kind of weirds me out. But I do believe that this kind of stuff happens. I told you guys that I wanted to dedicate more videos and time thinking about Blair because as you guys know, her birthday is October 28th. If you guys are new to my channel and this is the first video that you're watching, my name is Lauren. I have a one and a half year old son named Brody, but before Brody, we had a daughter named Blair who passed away in October 2015. She passed away at 22 weeks gestation, so I was almost six months pregnant with her, and this is when that story kind of took place. So, this took place in October 2015. It was the beginning of October. I don't remember the exact date. I just know that I was 17 weeks pregnant with Blair, so it might have been the end of September actually. When I was pregnant with Blair, I did the genetic testing at 12 weeks that you can do. It takes a little bit of your blood and it lets you know basically if your baby is going to be at high risk for chromosomal abnormalities and it also tells you the sex of the baby. I got the results back at 12 weeks when I was pregnant with her that she was healthy. They said she was extremely low risk for chromosomal abnormalities, which they were wrong. Also told me that she was a girl. So I knew Blair was a girl from 12 weeks. I think it was like 12 weeks and three days when I found out about her being a girl. I also at the time worked for a company called European Wax Center. I'm a licensed esthetician and I did full body waxing for four years, which was a very long time. And the waxers wear red scrubs. Now, scrubs are baggy. If you've ever worn scrubs before, you know that they are so unflattering. The tops are huge, the pants are huge, so it literally just looks like you're wearing a big baggy like trash bag, basically. I really had like virtually no bump at this point. So I just wanted to throw that in there so the next part of my story makes sense. So I was wearing baggy scrubs at work. You didn't, you couldn't tell that I was pregnant. And I wasn't telling my clients that I was pregnant yet. I had told a couple that were my like ride or die clients that were repeat clients, they knew me really well, and I told them that I was pregnant. But if it wasn't a client that I'd had a whole bunch of times, a lot of times the services you do at EWC are so quick that I had so much other stuff that I had to talk to my clients about that the first thing that came to my mind wasn't to just say, oh, by the way, I'm pregnant. I won't say her name for privacy reasons, but I took back this client and I had never seen her before. She was a brand new client of mine. She hadn't gone to the center before, but she had been waxed at other European wax centers. So I had never seen her before. I did not know this woman. We, the whole time, were just talking about her. She was telling me how she was a single mom and how um, she had, I think, two or three kids. And she was just telling me about her life. It was so normal. I had conversations like that all the time with my clients. Towards the end of the service, the conversation changed and it got really weird. We were talking about her the whole time, you guys. Okay, I'm like, it, we weren't even talking about me. And she was just telling me about her life and everything. And then she stops and she looked at me and she goes, by the way, um, did you know that you're having a girl? And I said, like, I was laughing. I was like, what? And I just looked at her. I said, did I tell you that I was pregnant? I don't think I, and she goes, no, you didn't tell me, but I know that you're pregnant and I know that it's a girl. I about pooped my pants. I was like, oh my God, this woman is crazy. Um, and I said, how do you know that? I said, I, I am pregnant. Yes, it's a girl. I'm 17 weeks. Um, I said, I, I didn't tell you that I was pregnant. I wasn't planning on telling you that I was pregnant. And she said, I just know that you're pregnant and that you're having a girl. And then she said, I keep hearing the name Mia. Does Mia mean anything to you? Like, who's Mia? And at first I thought, well, maybe she's trying to say that my baby's name is Mia. But Mia, if you guys know, I don't feel like it's a super common name. I feel like I never really meet anybody with that name. And at least for me personally, the name Mia holds extreme significance because when I was a little girl, my family childhood dog's name was Mia. She was part Basset Hound, part Rottweiler, and she had the body of a Basset Hound, but she looked like a Rottweiler, and she was literally the nicest dog I've ever encountered to this day. She would never hurt a fly. I had her from, by the time I was like a baby, till I was in third grade, 
when she died unexpectedly um she got hit by a car on halloween and i watched it happen she was with my family we were staying at a beach condo we brought her with and she ended up getting out and the condo was next to a really busy highway and we were all looking for her and we found her across the street and she was fine she was just like smelling the grass and um we called her name and she was coming to us and she got hit twice and <laughs> i feel like i'm gonna get emotional about that and i like i don't talk about this like ever it was really traumatic for me i had cried for three days straight and i've never i mean to that point i'd never seen an animal die before i've never seen a pet die um and it was really traumatic especially being so young i think i was only nine my family was weird we have pictures of mia up in our house like we still haven't taken them down we still talk about her we say do you remember that one time when you put wigs on mia and i have like photos after photos filled in my family photo albums of me and this dog that was really strange and i told her i said that's my childhood dog um she died when i was nine like that's really weird she's like well i keep hearing that name so she's like it must mean something to you and then she finally like it was quiet again and she said i keep hearing the letter t because i guess to her she because after this i asked her i was like how do you know these things like what are you saying where are you getting all this from and she said that to her it's just like a voice in her head like she just hears them or it just comes to her like a thought and then she feels compelled to talk about it um, and I've never spoken to a psychic before before this so I didn't know how it works and then she said she kept hearing the letter T and then the letter T kept coming to her mind and she was like T T T T she's like do you know Travis or Trevor do you know anybody in your life with that name and I said no she said I have a strong feeling that the letter T is going to hold extreme significance to you and to your life and I just kind of stopped and I was like no I really don't know anybody with the name that starts with the T and I don't really know how that would fit into my life. And then she paused and she said, maybe the person delivering your baby will have the name, will have a name that starts with the T. And I said, well, my doctor's first name is Gregory. So, um, I was like, I think you're wrong on that one. But I said, nice try with the other stuff. Like you were pretty spot on. And then I walked her out and that was the end of the service. And I was like shaking. Then it starts to get really weird. I had my anatomy scan at 19 weeks so this was just two weeks before my anatomy scan i went in for my anatomy scan and it didn't look the best i never really told you guys like too much about these stories but i was getting the scan and the tech was really quiet and my baby was extremely curled up into a tiny ball she had her legs over her head they couldn't really get the best measurements of her so they sent me home with photos and everything but i got a call from my ob the next day saying that the scan was off, that it didn't look right, and that they were a little bit concerned about her long bones. That's what my OB said. He said, I think her long bones are measuring on the shorter side, but I'm not entirely sure because it wasn't me who did the scan. So I'm going to have you go into the hospital that you'll be delivering at, and I'm going to have you get a level two ultrasound done there. He said that the level two ultrasound was more advanced it's going to be a longer scan and they just have the better equipment at the hospital if you guys live in florida you have probably heard of this hospital it's called winnie palmer they are located in orlando and they are seriously one of the best hospitals they take so many high-risk patients i went to winnie and i got my level 2 ultrasound done i think this was a week later so it was about 20 weeks I actually ended up being on my birthday it was october 15th at this point and i went in for this level 2 ultrasound i brought corey with me and and I had to go to a different ward in that hospital. I still hadn't even taken my hospital tour yet, so I had no idea around the hospital. I had no idea where I was going, um, but they had me go to this different ward. I had to sign in, and they gave me paperwork to fill out about what I would be getting done that day. So I was just checking off the list, and I was going through the paperwork, and I flipped to the last page, and it said the physician attending to me that day was going to be named Timothy, and I won't say his last name, but his first name was Timothy. I froze I thought oh my god like what if this guy ends up being my doctor because something's wrong with my baby and he ends up delivering my baby this is so weird so right off the bat that was really weird to me and I tried not to think about it I go back for the scan it was like an hour-long ultrasound it was extremely detailed the new doctor Timothy came in at the end and he said basically um 
he said we don't know what it is but something is really wrong with your baby and he started to just list off everything that was wrong with Blair she had calcification on her heart her heart was twisted in her chest um, her long bones were not measuring short but what was wrong was that every part of her body was growing at a different rate and a different gestation so her head was measuring 20 weeks along where she should be but her body was measuring 16 weeks along and her legs were measuring 18 weeks along and her arms were measuring 14 weeks everything was off so they assumed that she might have had something called IUGR which is just intrauterine growth restriction they thought that maybe she just wasn't growing because of the two vessel cord they thought that maybe I wasn't providing enough nutrients for her they said that I was looking at more than a 50% chance of my baby being born with severe birth defects they said that if she even made it full term she would have birth defects and they said that if I could make it to 28 weeks they wanted to do a c-section and take her early um, because she was also in a position called frank breach which means both of her legs were over her head and she wasn't moving and they said that when babies are frank breach they um, typically don't move out of that position which calls for a c-section because your baby won't be able to be born vaginally they also said um we can do something called an amniocentesis we'll do it today um he said i i've done hundreds and thousands of amnios i know what i'm doing i can get you in right now for it and you'll get the results within a week or two and it'll let you know to us um knowing was just extremely important we needed to know what was wrong with her so that we could better prepare for her um, whenever she decided to come and we needed to know if there was anything that we could do for her that we weren't doing and I got the results back um, less than a week after. A woman on the phone said, I am so sorry but your baby, she said your baby has a fatal condition and it's called triploidy syndrome and she said I've never even heard of this. Um, she told me that she did some research on it before she called me and that it was extremely rare um i remember i got the phone call it was like still sleeping and i was woken up by the phone call and i answered it basically just told me that it was something extremely rare there wasn't much out there about it but she said that triploidy syndrome is always fatal it's when you receive a triple set of chromosomes instead of like most of us we receive a set from our mom and a set from our dad so two sets um the baby receives three sets of chromosomes. It's non-compatible with life. I don't think a baby has lived past being 10 months old with full-blown triploidy. And then I remembered what the psychic woman said. She said that the letter T will have significant meaning to you. So my doctor changed to the Dr. Timothy, and then it turns out that Blair had a condition called triploidy which is a triple chromosomal abnormality. So T, triple, like however you want to tie it in, it all ties in. Obviously, you guys obviously know how that story ended. I won't get too much into it, but um, she ended up passing away and being born at 22 weeks, three days. I took only about a week and a half, two weeks off of work. Um, I did that by choice. I wanted to go back because I was sitting at home crying every day and I was depressed. I, uh, I just couldn't be alone. I went back um, about two weeks after she died and that put me at a four week window from the last time I saw my client and typically people come in every four weeks. So guess who showed up at my job to get waxed by me again when I came back to work? The psychic. At this point my job had not told my clients what happened. They just said that she had a, they just said that I had a medical emergency and that I needed to um, take some time off of work but that I would be back and I was in communication with them the whole time letting them know I think I'm coming back sooner I'm gonna be back on this day like I was just letting them know I was working one night and this psychic was on my book and the first thing that happens when I bring her into the room she did not know anything because the front desk did not tell her I brought her back and I shut the door and she looked at me and she just said I am so sorry and it she knew she for some reason had known what had happened and I didn't even have to tell her this was the weirdest thing ever you guys I started waxing her and I had like wax on a stick and I was like laying a strip and she grabbed my hand and she looked me dead in the eyes and she said she's coming back to you she's gonna come back 
and I just looked at her and I obviously started crying again like I was a mess obviously I don't believe in reincarnation that's not to say it's not real it's just not what I believe in I don't have the belief that people are reincarnated and that they come back um I don't want to get too much into it because that's just my beliefs and I don't personally feel that that is a thing she said she's coming back to you um she said I'm seeing right now you she said you are super pregnant and she said you're extremely happy everything's going very well she said you're going to have another baby and you're going to be healthy and your baby's going to be healthy and this baby's going to be born <laughs> it's like so weird talking about now because it happened she thought it was going to happen and she said she kept seeing the number two she said that she doesn't know if it meant two weeks two months two years and that was november of 2015. i ended up getting pregnant with brody um our rainbow baby we conceived him august of 2016 so almost a year since blair's birth and brody was born may 4th 2017 so just a few months shy of two years after blair's birthday and you guys can believe it if you want you don't have to believe it this is just what happened to me and um ever since this day i have definitely believed in psychics i just never really thought of it before i never encountered one so i was always really skeptical i legitimately enjoy hearing about this stuff as crazy as it sounds and even though you guys know what my beliefs are i still find this stuff interesting and i'm a believer because it has happened to me personally so if you guys have a story like this or if you guys have encountered psychics let me know what you think about my story um it was crazy and i still tell people this story and when i tell people this story they freak out because rightfully so it feels good to finally tell the story and like have it out there but i just never got around to filming it and i never got around to talking about it and i finally decided to do that so it's in honor of blair since her birthday's coming up and halloween because you guys know i love halloween i've always loved spooky stuff so i just wanted to share that but thank you guys so much for watching this video as always i love you guys and i will see you in my next time